TIA Portal Totally Integrated Automation Portal is a software platform developed by Siemens. Siemens HMI are programmed and designed with Siemens TIA WinCC. Open TIA Portal and select Create a New Project, Enter Project Name, Save Location, and other information of your project. Press Create button. Next step is to configure device and network for your HMI and TIA portal. In this step, you can add PLC for your HMI and add HMI for your project. Press to configure device and select controller for PLC or HMI for your project. After selecting HMI for device list, next step to configure HMI device from HMI device wizard. This wizard only open if you check start device wizard option during device selection. In this wizard you can configure PLC connection for HMI, screen layout, alarm configuration for HMI, system screen, buttons after configuration press to finish. All configuration press finish to complete wizard. Above settings also configured without HMI project wizard. Now your project is ready to design HMI. In screen property change background color, set fort style etc. Select component from toolbox and add selected component to HMI screen by simply drag and drop from toolbox to HMI. In this article we add a button, a circle and an input output field, slider and a gauge for numerical input. Some component is not available for Siemens basic HMI. In this video we add a comfort HMI.TIA WinCC portal is a complete package for configuring and programming Siemens HMI devices. TIA WinCC Portal HMI Program Editor helps to create a graphical user interface for your HMI. Component of your HMI assigned by tag. These tag are very important because tag helps to find proper component. And these tag are defined with. In Project View select HMI tag. You can add tag in tag table. These tag table default available or you can also add tag table. In tag table insert tag name. Select tag data type like bool and string STC. Connection column select internal tag if you want these tag internally used for HMI or otherwise select connection if you want to browse PLC tag. After adding tag in table. Select elements for adding tag in events select events type and then in events action select action which you want to perform when element events triggered in this article we use set bit events for start button and reset bit events for stop button on line underscore on tag. Animation change the background color, font color, visibility movement etc. when a selected component tag is changed to set value. Here we add animation of circle when start button is pressed then circle color change to green and if the stop button is pressed then red color is set to circle. Set lamp underscore on tag for circle animation. Slider, gauge, and numerical input output is depend on numerical value, so we add a numerical underscore input tag for all three como and int, in property define process tag for slider and gauge. Process tag, browse tag from tag table, and then select to add. Now here we use a simulation to test HMI. Simulation is a virtual HMI for testing. 
As you see when start button is pressed then circle color is changed to green when stop button is pressed circle color changed green to red. Similarly when slider value changed then gauge and numerical input also changed because we use same tag for all the component after finishing configuration and setup then compile your project to check error if no error comes then your project is ready to download or test otherwise check your program and remove all error.